Last night, before I went to bed, my jaw dropped to the floor. You see, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a link to Google's new Generating Music from Text AI paper. I took one quick look at it and I was astounded. So how did it do? Hello, Science Maniactics. This is Ava. I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. Today, we're going to talk about an exciting new AI system from Google called Musicon that can generate music in any gender given a text description. But before we get into the details of how it works, let's talk about the history of AI music generation. There have been other attempts at creating generative AI systems for music in the past, such as Refusion, an AI that composes music by visualizing it, as well as Dance Diffusion, Google's own audio manual, and OpenAI's Jukebox. However, due to technical limitations and limited training data, none of these systems have been able to produce songs that are particularly complex in composition or high fidelity. Enter MusicLM. This AI system was trained on a dataset of 280,000 hours of music and is able to generate coherent songs for descriptions of significant complexity, such as enchanting jazz song with a memorable saxophone solo and a solo singer, or Berlin 90s techno with a low bass and strong kick. The songs it generates are so good. They sound like they were created by a human artist, although they may not be as inventive or musically cohesive. But music Un's capabilities don't stop there. It can also build on existing melodies, whether hummed, sung, whistled, or played on an instrument, and even create a sort of melodic story or narrative from multiple descriptions. It can also be instructed via a combination of picture and caption, or generate audio that's played by a specific type of instrument in a certain genre. However, Music Elm isn't perfect. Some of the samples it generates have a distorted quality to them, and while it can technically generate vocals, including choral harmonies, they leave a lot to be desired. Most of the lyrics range from barely English to pure gibberish, sung by synthesized voices that sound like amalgamations of several artists. Additionally, there are also major ethical challenges posed by a system like Musicon, including the tendency to incorporate copyrighted material from the training data into the generated songs. During an experiment, the Google researchers found that about 1% of the music the system generated was directly replicated from the psalms on which it trained. This is a threshold that is apparently high enough to discourage them from releasing music Elm in its current state. So, what does the future hold for music Elm and AI music generation in general? It's hard to say, but it's clear that there are legal and ethical considerations that will need to be addressed before systems like this can be released to the public. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. As you think about the future of music and AI, here are some thought-provoking questions to consider. What are the implications of AI-generated music for the music industry? How will AI-generated music change the way we consume music? What are some potential legal issues surrounding AI-generated music? How will AI-generated music change the way we create and compose music? How will AI-generated music change the way you listen to music? Let us know what you think in the comment section.